Hey everybody, it's Mark with Voltland Outdoors, and this video is all about teaching compound bow hunters or anybody else that has never shot bear bow and gone hunting. You're going to be able to go bear bow hunting this year with one gap that's going to give you a solid shot from 15 meters out to 25 meters. And at all of those distances, you're going to be putting the tip of your arrow right smack on the heart of the deer, nowhere else. Let's continue. We're going to show you how to do that. But first, intro. Okay, hey, we're back. I'm gonna show you guys today a five-step method that you can actually learn in 30 seconds that's gonna allow you to shoot at 15, at 20, and at 25 meters. You're still gonna hit a little high in the middle and a little bit low on the deer, but it's only one gap that you have to remember, a three-finger gap. There's some basics you gotta start off with. It's gonna start with a 45-pound bow. Why am I not using 20, 25, 30, 35? Because they're not legal. Why am I not saying 55 and 60? You don't need them. A 45 pound bow shooting a broadhead, this is a field point, shooting a broadhead into a deer will kill the deer dead. I promise you. So we're starting off with a 45 pound bow, full length uncut arrow with a 100 grain field point, on, a 100 grain broadhead on the end. Today it's a field point. That's what you're using. So if you, if you have a 45 pound bow or something close to that, this video will work for you. Five step method is this. Step one, we're gonna choose a gap. It's gonna be measured, it's the gap between the knocking point of the arrow and the drawing point of your index finger. That gap determines the elevation of the arrow, determines the range. And to be able to shoot a 45 pound bow with a full cut arrow, 600 spine, and a 100 grain field tip to shoot that exactly 20 meters, you need a gap here at your chin of three fingers. That's gonna get the job done. Step two, we're gonna draw back under our chin. Step three, we're gonna look down the left edge of the bowstring. It's gonna become a rear peep sight. Step four, we're gonna put the tip of the arrow right smack on the target, right on the heart of the deer. Step five, we're gonna make a small motion release. Nothing fancy, nothing flamboyant, no motion. Doink, like that. Now this gap, this three meter, this three finger gap for 20 meters should put it damn near near the center of the deer. But what I'm gonna show you after this is, we're gonna move five meters closer for a 15 meter shot. And you're gonna see that that same gap will still kill the deer. It would just shoot about two inches high. You can live with that. Then we're gonna move the camera back 25 meters and you're going to shoot, you're going to see that that very same gap three fingers will actually shoot a little bit low so that if you're aiming center of mass on the deer center of the body not trying for the heart but center of the body at 20 meters then that same gap will kill the deer at 15 meters at 25 meters which means you have literally from 15 to 25 you've got 10 meters of error that you can live with engaging the distance to the deer and you're still bringing that deer down. That's what we're trying to drive home here. So let's go through this motion. I'm at 20 meters exactly. Step one, choose your gap. Step two, anchor under your chin. Step three, look down the left edge of the bowstring. Four, tip of the arrow right on the center of mass of the deer. Step five, small motion release. I want you to see the height. The height is in the center of the deer's body. That's what I'm trying to tell you. And we can use that same gap, that same elevation. If we move a little bit closer to the deer and shoot, the shot is gonna end up going just a little bit high, but it will still kill the deer. And if we move a little bit further back, that shot's gonna go back to center of mass and a little further back to 25. It's just gonna go down a little bit, but it will still kill the deer. One gap, one technique, 15 meters all the way out to 25. Let's shoot a couple more. Three fingers here to determine one elevation, and that one elevation was good enough to kill a deer at within a 10 yard, a 10 meter range from 15 meters out to 25. That's a very usable range, guys. That's the best shot you're gonna have out in those woods. And that you saw that at, for that three finger gap on a 45 pound bow, your common hunting bow, 
that three finger gap was set to shoot exactly at 20 meters and I was landing right in the center of mass of the deer. I'm aiming in the center of the mass, I'm hitting the center of mass with that three finger gap. When I went 15 yards closer, or when I went to 15 yards or 15 meters, it's hardly a difference guys, about a meter and a half difference. So I'll use them interchangeably. When you go to 15 meters, that's five yards that way, the shots just ended up being a little bit high. You can see from the holes here. It just went a little high. We're talking like three fingers high, two inches. When we moved all the way out to 25 meters, where we're at right now, you saw those shots go from here and drop down. Right in, again, center of mass on the deer. So that the same gap covering 10 yards from 15 meters, 10 meters, from 10 meters all the way up to 25 meters, saw a range here on the body of the deer of only about, only about two inches high to two inches low, four inches spanning. And at all of those distances, you're gonna be putting the tip of your arrow right smack on the heart of the deer, nowhere else. Let's continue. That, that means that you guys can go and hunt bearable. What I wanted you guys to see was that, that last one where I was anchoring very firmly under my chin and you saw no left to right motion at all, no error being introduced. That's what the compound bow archers enjoy. It's why they take compound bows out into the woods. You're not introducing any error. You get this perfect shot. Olympic archers, if they went hunting with all that equipment, they'd, they'd enjoy that same kind of precision, the same kind of accuracy. Bear bow, you're anchoring the arrow. You're anchoring the arrow that should be like this. You're anchoring it off to the side and you're deliberately introducing error. Why would you do that? Anchor under your chin and now your eye is directly in line with the arrow, which is hip is on the heart of the deer. That's the way to go, guys. Let's summarize what we learned today. I'm teaching you a five-step method that you can take bear bull hunting this season. Step one of this method, you're gonna choose a gap between the knocking point of the arrow and the drawing point of your index finger of three fingers. Two, you're gonna anchor under your chin. Three, you're gonna look down the left edge of the bowstring. It's your rear peep sight. Four, you're gonna put the tip of the arrow right smack on the center of mass of the deer. Five, you're gonna make as small a motion or release as possible. Nothing flamboyant. You follow those five steps with that one gap of three fingers, you're gonna be able to hit a deer from 15 meters to 25 meters on your very first time hunting bear bow. This is Marvolt with Voltland Outdoors. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and we'll see you out there.